Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. Got my glasses, got my lucky pen, and my ads finally came a day late. And here's hoping we're not a dollar short. So let's get down to it and find out what the bargains are this week. So excited, I can hardly control myself. So my ads came late because of the holiday and my regular postman takes holidays off. He's been my postman for 20 years so he has seniority and he takes an extended vacation with every holiday. So I have to resort to relying on the kindness of the less senior postal workers to deliver my ads. It's not a priority for them, but that's okay. We got them. I'm set. Let's start with some Albertsons. What do we got here? We've got USDA boneless chuck or boneless chuck choice beef chuck roast, cross rib, bottom round roast, two ninety seven a pound. It's not bad. It's not bad. We've got all natural pork sirloin chops at 97 cents a pound. That's fantastic. I would get those. Oh, here's what I've been waiting for. Yay, hooray, 97 cent strawberries because I need to make some freezer jam. We only have two left in the freezer and it's first two. Okay, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We're going to, we'll get enough to make some freezer jam. Broccoli and cauliflower crowns for 97 cents. That's a pretty good buy. Lent savings. I love the idea of Lent. We are not Catholic, but I love, you know, giving something up <clears throat> and that restraint. So let's see. If we were celebrating Lent, it, our bargains would be. Cook peeled shrimp for $5.97 a pound. That's all right. We've got some salmon for $8.97 a pound. We have some crab legs at $9.97 a pound. That's that's probably a pretty good deal. I don't know that I'll get any, but I'm, I'm not mad at that price. We've got soda on sale, three for $15. That's pretty good. $1.77 for the Lucerne Cheese. It's your first three. And it's the six to eight ounce package. Make sure you're getting the eight ounce package. Then we've got Ruffles Potato Chips, two for five. I still have left, some left over from the Super Bowl. I don't think that's the best price. That's about 50 cents more than we spent at the Super Bowl. Um, we've got butter at $3.47 per pound. Not the best, but my Albertsons has been running so high on this. This is almost like half off. And I think that's crazy. I'm not going to get any of this. I'm going to wait for a sale. So we'll see what happens. I might luck out. Okay, Progresso soups. Here's an interesting thing about this Progresso soup. It's four for five dollars. But when you bring up the digital deal, if you buy six, then you get another $2 off. So you're going to have to buy two at the regular price to get $2 off. When you combine all six, it's still a really good value, but your best buy is with the four. Now, if you need the six, you're still getting a good buy, just not at the $1.25 because their Progresso soup was priced at $3.47. So even with the $2 off, you are still going to be paying like an additional $4 and change for those extra two cans of soup. So if you need six and you've got the digital deal, go ahead and clip that. Otherwise, I'm going to get the four and be glad that I got anything. But this milk, $1.27 for a half gallon. Hot diggity. That's for me. What is it? Limit, limit two? probably limit to it's usually always limit to but um, yeah I'm gonna get that we've got the 
signature, signature select frozen vegetables on sale or the star kissed tuna or chicken creations i'm gonna get these vegetables it's a uh 8 to 16 ounce package i'm going to try to get all 16 ounce packages because that's the best value and even if i don't have freezer room if i can get some nice frozen vegetables like this like a mixed veg or something like that you know the carrots the peas the uh corn or something like that i can dehydrate that in my um nesco dehydrator and those are super easy to dehydrate. It's a pour and go situation. So, um, they have the bottles on sale for, for $11. And price wise, these are very comparable ounce per ounce. Um, I prefer a can. Um, but if they don't have any cans, then I will surely get some of this. They have 97 cent ice cream at the Albertsons. And I am definitely going to get that. It is a limit of two. And you'll have to clip the digital deal. Or take this coupon in for them to honor it. But my sister sent me a text message asking me if I would make her an ice cream roll up. And I thought, I want to. I want to make you an ice cream roll up, baby girl. I want to make you anything that you want. But I don't want to pay $3 for what's not even a half gallon of ice cream anymore. We've got Lean Cuisines for $2.27. I was looking at these in the store. They were way more expensive than that. They were almost up to $5. So that's a little bit more than half off. That's a great deal if you need some TV dinners. Those are great to take to lunch or what have you what have we got going on over here let's look let's look oh they've got their macaroni potato salad on for $2.99 that's not quite half off but that's a pretty good deal see their signature select pizzas $4.49 there's no way I'm buying those at $4.49 mm -mm. what do we get that for $1.79 something like that right before the Super Bowl that was a great deal that was terrific. Ritz crackers or Nabisco chips Ahoy $2.99. This isn't a bad deal, especially those cookies. Those are real pricey at my Albertsons. That's not quite half off, but that's still a decent deal. Hot and fresh fried chicken. $5.99 for an eight piece. That is an excellent deal. Um, we had 50 pieces of fried chicken and they were a dollar per piece um, for our family dinner night and they were not running this sale and I didn't want I wanted something quick easy and what have you and um, didn't really want to do a lot of cooking so this is a great deal at $5.99 that's less than a dollar per piece hot diggity they've got their or or wheat bread back but at $3.79. So last week we got it for like $1.49 or something like that. I bought my two loaves. That was the limit. But I'm not going to spend $3.79. So they can just keep it until it goes back on sale. What else have we got? We've got some digital offers. We've got $2.49 for fruit bars or for the novelty ice cream. The Signature Select brand. But we're going to get that 97 cent ice cream on the front. So we're not going to get that. They've got chips at $3.49. They've got sausage at $3.99. I checked the digital deals and there were no additional coupons for that. It's an okay price and it looks like you can get the sausage, the bacon, or the patties. $2.99 for salad kits. They've got Nathan's hot dogs for $3.99. They've got their coffee on at $4.99, and that is for a 10 to 12 ounce bag. That doesn't really last us long enough, but you know, not the worst price I've ever seen. 32 ounce chunk cheese, $7.99. That's not terrible. Cottage cheese, cream cheese, and sour cream for $2.29. Okay. It's worth it for the sour cream. 
or pardon me, that's not right. It's worth it for the cream cheese. Because my cream cheese, the eight ounce package, has been running upward of three dollars. So two twenty nine is probably gonna be at least a seventy nine cent savings. I'm okay with that. Okay, five dollar Fridays. What have we got here? We've got New York steaks, five dollars a pound. <clears throat> The family size runa pasta for $5 or the open nature 85% lean grass fed ground beef for $5. Okay. We've got signature signature select pasta sauce or pasta four for $5. Now the size of my pasta went down from 16 ounces to 12 ounces and I can get a better buy at the dollar store on pasta right now so i'm not going to buy the pasta but four for five dollars for their signature select pasta sauce for a 25 ounce container is a pretty good deal i think these are tasty so i am definitely going to look at those red baron pizza two for five well that's a better buy than the signature select pizza so I would get that. That's not terrible. <clears throat> Fritos and Tostitos and Bean Dip, two for five dollars. That's still better than the Lay's on the front, so that's not a bad price. They've got beer on sale, if you're so inclined. Okay. What's on the back? We've got shrimp on sale for $5 a pound. They have these cakes on sale for $5 each. I'm not sure on these. Um, I w Sometimes the picture is a little bit deceiving because you're expecting to buy, you know, like an 8-inch cake. But you go and it's just like a little 4-inch slice. I'm not going to mess around with a 4-inch slice for $5. If, it w if it's a whole cake, maybe. Maybe. We'll give it a question mark. We'll think about it. <coughs> okay. We've got goldfish, two for five. A dollar each, five for five on avocado. That's a pretty decent price. They were a little less expensive over at the Food City last week, but if we didn't make it there, I can live with five for five on avocado. Okay. Thick cut smoked bacon, $4.99. That's still outside of the price that I will pay for it. All natural pork chops, $3.99. But they have those pork sirloin chops for $0.97. Cents, so that's more of what I would get price-wise. Waterfront Bistro Tilapia Open Nature. And I will tell you right now, there is a multiplier in the Albertsons digital deals for any waterfront bistro that you're earning four times points. So if you spent $9.99 on one of these products, it would multiply it times four. So it would actually be 40 points towards your rewards. So if you are celebrating Lent, make sure you're getting your waterfront bistro multiplier on in the Albertsons ad. They got grapes on sale for $2.99. That's almost twice of what we paid last week. So, And I still have some. I won't be getting those. Let's see. Radishes, green onions, or cilantro. This is their everyday low price. That's why it's important to know what things cost at your regular grocery stores. Because this is, this is their everyday low price. Radishes, green onion, cilantro are always two for a dollar. This is not a bargain. It's a good price, but it's not super good. And then don't be fooled with this 69 cent onion because it does say each. There's no way I'm paying 69 cents of each for an onion. That's crazy. And then I was looking in the app and the app had bananas on sale for 35 cents each, not per pound. And 
y'all can just keep your bananas for that. I can live without it. I'll eat an apple. Okay, so let's take a look. We at fries. Come on, fries. What have we got here? We've got Foster Farms boneless skinless chicken breast. Buy one, get one free. So we might look at that. I don't know if that's going to beat the price that we paid last week at Albertsons or the price that we paid the following week when we went to Food City and got the boneless skinless chicken legs for $1.27 a pound. So we still have, we have plenty of chicken, but if it's a really good deal, I can always squeeze an extra pack into that freezer. Bell peppers on sale for 77 cents each. That's okay. I'm not jumping up and down about it. We got three for 15 soda. And three for 15 soda. This is the problem. With Fry's and Albertsons merging, their ad is going to look pretty much exactly the same. They're no longer going to be competitive. So pretty much what it's going to come down to is looking at the ad. I don't even know if you will have to look at both ads, if they're, you know, Fry's, Albertson, Safeway. Um, if you will have to even look at those ads, or you'll just look at one and it'll pretty much have everything that both stores will have. And then you'll have to compare it to your food city or your regular prices at the Aldi or your Bashes flyer. I don't have a Bashes in my neck of the woods. I have to drive a little bit further for that. Um, our Bashes roof collapsed in a rainstorm. So, yeah. Okay, their Progresso Soup is three for five, but it's four for five at Albertsons. So, like I said, I'm not down with all this merging of my grocery stores but you know if they didn't ask me they're going to do whatever they want good luck to them and if you can hear it it is so windy outside we've had up to 50 mile an hour gusts today and it sounds like the roof's going to cave in any second i'm pretty sure that it won't but you know pray for me okay their milk is two cents more than it is at the Albertsons. And their strawberries are $1.49 at Fry's versus the 97 cents at Albertsons. They just want to run me all over town. They're killing me. That's all right. My Fry's is about one mile down the road from me and my Albertsons well, I could walk there if I didn't have to carry a bunch of groceries home. And I have done so many, many times. So um, it's, it's not like I have a long way to go. Let's see what we've got here. Some kind of alkaline water for $2.99. We've got popcorn, Act 2 popcorn, or the little... Um, cheese and crackers packs, uh, Lance's sandwich crackers, $2.99, two for seven on their dryers or Hagen dazs products. That's pretty good. They've got $1.99 on their General Mill cereal. Andrew loves Reese's Puffs because he is a child at heart, bless him. I might get him a box. Tostitos on sale for $4.99. Mac and cheese, $5.49. Simple Truth plant-based macaroni and cheese. Okay. $2.19 on their sour cream and cottage cheese. So that does beat the Albertsons on the sour cream and cottage cheese. Where did that go? Oh, here, $2.29 versus $2.19. Okay, so I'm going to get the cream cheese at Albertsons, and I'll look and see if we need any 
cottage cheese or sour cream. I think we're all right. I just bought one. So we might not even get that. We'll see what happens. Score four for five. We got laundry detergent on sale for $12.99. It looks like there's a $3 off coupon. And that's a digital coupon online. So make sure you click that if you're going to get that laundry detergent. They've got some Kroger toilet paper on sale for $9.99. Or $9 and I have never bought that, so I have no idea. I usually just buy my toilet paper at Costco. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, Andrew Stacks for four for five dollars. That's the same price that they were last week, so that's okay. He doesn't need any more right now. Three for fourteen on the soda. Well, that does beat Albertsons. Okay, so we might get that. Like I said, they are so close together. It's not that they're really going to run me all over town. You know, it's just the getting in and out of the car and finding the parking space and navigating that short distance between the two of them is sometimes seems more difficult than driving all the way across town. Okay, they have got sparkling ice flavored water. For Wicos, 10 for $10. That's not bad if I can't find any with a yellow sticker. We've got the Little Bites. Buy one, get one free. Our Entenmann's Donuts. That's tempting. We've got Silk on sale. Spend 15 What is this? Spend 15, save 5 on the milk and the dairy-free products. So if that's something that you need, by all means, get your $15 worth. I'm not sure if they're shelf-stable or not. Um, but boy, if you could load up on those and they were, save $5, that would be worth it. Okay, let's look at their ads here. We've got asparagus for $1.99, but I've got two in the refrigerator that we're eating this week. We've got cabbage on for $0.69 cents a pound, tulips for $10.99, those are tempting, I do love tulips, cuties or mandarins for $4.49, $10.99, $5.49 for a pie, ribeye steaks for $9.99, well we got those way cheaper. That's a no. They're waiting for me in the refrigerator. we got to let this wind die down. We've had nothing but wind for the last two weeks. It's terrible. $4.49 for your bratwurst or your Italian sausage is not a terrible price. So that's about $0.51 cents off their regular everyday price. I could live with that if I hadn't stocked up when they were $2.49 right before the Super Bowl. All right, fries. You might get me on the soda. And if I can't get enough strawberries over here at Albertsons for 97 cents, I might be getting some for you for 50 cents more. And I might get the sour cream. Maybe the yogurt. Okay. All right. We'll write our grocery list. We'll write our grocery list with our lucky pin. Are you superstitious? I'm way superstitious. But I'm sure that's no surprise. Okay, what else have we got? Food City. Hot diggity. We've got boneless top round for $3.47. It was less expensive at $2.97 over at the Albertsons. <coughs> Pardon me. We've got, oh, the chicken leg meat is up to $1.47, so that's $0.20 cents more than we paid for it. Country style pork ribs, though, but $0.27, that might be worth it. We've got Italian squash or cabbage, two pounds for a dollar. Well, that beats the price all to Hades from Fry's and from Albertsons. No, thank you. We've got Roma tomatoes, two for a dollar. We got beer. We've got a dollar ninety-nine food club chunk or shredded cheese, 
and at Albertsons it's a dollar seventy seven. So still a better buy at Albertsons than it is over at the Food City. Save your twenty cents, twenty two cents, twenty two cents, and buy yourself something nice with that. I don't know what, but you know. And what are their lunch specials? We've got tilapia fillets for three twenty seven a pound. We've got cooked shrimp for four seventy seven a pound. Imitation crab meat for a dollar forty seven a pound. I do like that. I think that makes an excellent salad. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, what else have we got in here? Clamato, $2.99. That seems like a good price. I don't really enjoy it, but I do sometimes buy it for a seafood stew. So I'll look in the pantry and see if I have one. We've got bimbo bread, $2.49. Let's look at their three day sales and see what we got. Full tilapia, $1.89 a pound. Fresh ground beef, $2.49 a pound. Mangoes, four for a dollar. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Tomato sauce. Three for 99 cents. It says hot, but I don't know if they have like a regular variety or not. Interesting. Tostada shells or corn tortilla chips. Two ninety nine a pound or a bag, pardon me. In their bakery rolls are three for ninety nine cents. Food City bread pudding four ninety nine a pound. Okay, well I've never had their bread pudding, but it has to be pretty darn good for me to spend four dollars and ninety nine cents on something that probably cost me a dollar to make. Okay, we've got carnitas is like pork stew meat at a dollar ninety nine. That's not a bad price. It's not terrible. I don't think I need any. I think I have plenty, but that's not a bad price. We've got tripe at three ninety nine. Andrew loves it, but it's something that we generally eat when we go out somewhere. If he wants tripe, I'll take him somewhere. He can have his menudo somewhere else. I don't mind it. It's just not my absolute favorite. Let's see. Cheese for $8.99. Cotilla cheese for $3.99. Cook shrimp for $5.99. What do we got over here? Catfish nuggets, $1.79. <clears throat> I would rather have the catfish nuggets than the tilapia, and I would soak those in a little buttermilk to take any of that overwhelming fishiness away, and the buttermilk will help tender them up, and then just roll those in a little breadcrumb and go ahead and give those a quick fry. That could be delicious. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to think on that one. I'm definitely going to think on that one. Flour tortillas for $1.49. An eight count. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with eight of them. That's not a very big package. I think they're a better value for the 20 pack over at Smart and Final. So they can probably just keep those. Chicharrones made fresh. Okay. So this is $3.49 for a 20 pack. <coughs> I'm going to have to look up the price over at Smart and Final and see if that's competitive. The Herdez salsas. For $2.49 is not a bad deal. 
breaded fish fillets or salmon or pardon me shrimp plate for $8.99 oh this is from their kitchen so this is a prepared meal I don't know it includes rice and beans and it looks like a fair amount of fillets and that could be really good if you're thinking about going out I like these little places that have the restaurant inside and the grocery store because sometimes it's kind of fun like a little date you know you go to the grocery store you order some food you sit there you eat it you get all full and then you wander around the aisles and you hardly buy anything because you're stuffed to the gills from whatever you ate and you know then it's like you know dinner and a walk kind of in Arizona it makes sense because sometimes when it's 120 degrees you don't want to go for a walk outside so shrimp ceviche $7.99 fresh guacamole $5.99 okay buy two get one free on the two liter bottles of soda yeah so that's pretty good four for twelve dollars for their 16 ounce soda packets so Okay, it was four for eleven at Albertsons. Albertsons is still a better deal. No, thank you. Let's see what they've got in the veg section. Okay, we've got red onion at sixty-nine cents a pound. That's much better. They've got jicama at sixty-nine cents a pound. Um, they've got their pineapples at their standard eighty-eight cents. They've got the peppers back on two for a dollar they've got the tomatillos on for 88 cents they've got poblano peppers for a dollar 29 a pound these are very mild and completely delicious that's something I'll, I'll, I'll think on that one they've got red or gold potatoes for 99 cents a pound that's a good price that's that's a pretty decent price Okay, well, we'll think about that. Okay. They've got their small avocados, four for a dollar, but Albertsons had them five for five dollars. So Albertsons is still going to win on that. Cucumbers, three for a dollar. That is really good because their cucumbers at Albertsons were two for a dollar. Three is better. It just depends if I'm going this way because, like I said, these are within less than a mile from each other. This one's almost like two and a half miles away and in the opposite direction. So if I'm getting a lot of things at the food city, then it's worth it. Otherwise, well, maybe not. If I'm going that direction, it's hard not to stop in. Okay, what else have we got? We've got plantains, two for a dollar pinto beans or rice for 77 cents a pound raw easy peel shrimp 377 a pound <laughs> okay so i don't think i'm getting any meats i'm definitely getting the strawberries at albertson's and then also at fry's i'm gonna get the soda we all know it I'm gonna get the ice cream I might get the pork chops just because I know Andrew loves them I'm gonna get the spaghetti sauce I'm definitely getting the milk and I'm definitely gonna get four for five on the progresso And maybe a sour cream. I gotta check my pantry. Oh, and Andrew's Reese's cup cereal. So not a whole lot on my grocery list this week. In my refrigerator, I already have in my refrigerator, I already have some lettuce and some tomato, apples, oranges, and cuties, some grapes, asparagus, 
I have the cauliflower that I blanched and put into the freezer. Those freezers are really full. But I am really grateful that they are full today because there was a uh, warning of possible outages from APS uh, electrical outages. So my freezers are really full. They're layered with bottles of frozen water in the event that there is an outage that I won't hopefully, fingers crossed, lose much or anything. Um, so yeah, sh short grocery list. I spent about, um, what was it, $34, $36 yesterday at Lily's, which was awesome, and I had a great time doing it. That was money well spent. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to get these pork chops maybe for that stew. I think that would be delicious. Anyhow, lots of good stuff. Lots of stuff still in my fridge. So I'm thinking really I'm going to get the strawberries. I'm going to get the few things, and I'm probably going to come in under budget this week that's my goal fingers crossed hey thanks for going through the grocery ads with me i hope there's lots of great bargains in your neck of the woods and hey if you ever want to send me a screenshot of your ads or a photo of your ads i would love to see what's on sale where you live and you can just go ahead and send that to um crazy but not dangerous at gmail.com Again, that's crazy, but not dangerous, all one word, all lowercase, at gmail.com. And I'll go ahead and include that down in the bottom. Hey, be good, be careful, look both ways. I'll see you next time. Good luck with your shopping. Don't forget to clip your digital deals. Ask about your senior discounts. And look for your multipliers in their app. It's worth it. And then maybe you can get a few free things. Oh, yeah, I did get a free thing. It's crazy. I don't even know what it is. My free thing at Albertsons the other day when I went to go pick up my chicken for family dinner night was this Tostitos Toppers Fiesta Ranch. Um, it doesn't expire until like 2025. It says it's some kind of a sauce or a dressing. I don't know what for. I'm going to Google it and see what you're going to put it on. Maybe a salad. Maybe some tacos. I have no idea. Maybe I'll give it to my sister. I have no idea. But it was free, so you know what? It was for me. Have a great day.